Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be our next series recap as we dive into the Rochester Americans, one of the most historic franchises in AHL hockey, against the Belleville Senators, who were in their first playoff uh, series in AHL hockey. But let's dive right into it, as in Game 1, the Sens got off to a very good start. As Cole Reinhardt on a nice pass from uh, Sokolov were able to get it. And then Logan Shaw on a nice pass to Hetherington was able to crash and score. Not the guy you would expect to score. was able to get his first Calder Cup playoff goal. And then Rourke Chartier was able to score in the second. And it looked like it was going the wrong direction for the Rochester Americans in this game. Until in the third period... The roar just came, and they really got going. As Lucas Rocek, on a nice pass from Paterka, cutting to the net front, was able to have a nice delay move to get it over Gustafson. Jimmy Schultz then on a beautiful pass from Casey Fitzgerald as he was cutting to the net. Krebs with the secondary assist. Biro had the secondary on the first goal. Um, Fitzgerald got the assist to Schultz, cutting in on goal for that one. And then guess who scored the third goal to tie the game on a beautiful turd drag? Casey Fitzgerald, so a great game from him. The apple on the um, second goal for the Amherst. And then the game tying goal on a beautiful toe drag that Paterka and Peyton Krebs both got their second assists <clears throat> um, of this postseason on. And um, now when we go down to the overtime, our two wrist aligning is Tevez was able to fire it on net. And then you ended up getting this double deflection there as Tevez was able to rotate rotate and get basically right even with the blue line and and follow it uh, up on net and throw it on net as Brett Murray deflected it wrist to line and deflected it and it went in as the double deflection nothing a goaltender can do there this was a game that was really fun to watch and follow because I mean a, a team getting off to that good of a start you're thinking as Amherst fans ah damn this one didn't go our way and then your team comes out like bats out of hell in the third period and really completes this game, finishes it strong, and then they follow that into the next game as they were the team, and uh, R2 on the spot, Rister Line was able to get a second goal on a brilliant play by Sean Malone and Peyton Krebs, already get his third assist of the postseason. R2 Rister Line was able to get the first goal of this game, and on a brilliant play, he got the third goal of this game just going through the entire defense. He also got the assist on Mark Jankowski's um, goal as well as Jankowski was able to put home a very nice rebound there himself. So talk about a hell of a first series. First star of the series, hands down. Has to be R2 Rustalainen. And Casey Fitzgerald was close, damn close up there as well. But Rustalainen definitely has to be it because Fitzgerald also got the assist with Sean Malone, both for their second apples of the playoffs, on Rustalainen's third goal. And then Agazino was able to score, of course, in that third period on a great wire shot. Not much that uh, Dell could do there. And then Jarventi, there's not many goalies that are going to stop that shot as he had the beautiful one-timer that he was able to wire home there. But when it comes to overtime, Arturo Stalinen is the guy, again, that made the beautiful through-the-legs play. I don't know if he purposely did that to get to Brett Murray or if Brett Murray just made a beautiful cut seeing that Rusalainen was having guys pressure him. But either way, it went through Rusalainen's legs, perfectly got to Brett Murray cutting. Brett Murray was then able to slide it through and tuck it home as both of these overtimes went deep into the OTs. As in the first game, Rusalainen was the hero. In the second game, he was still a hero, scoring their first goal, their third goal, and getting an assist on their second goal and the game-winning goal as well. So talk about being great. Four-point game for Rooster and after having the game winner the night before. Definitely the MVP of the series has to go out to R2 Rooster And then I think you have to put in there Peyton Krebs was beautiful as a playmaker and Casey Fitzgerald was beautiful overall. Those would be my three stars of the series in this one. Great first-round series by the Amherst, showing literally perseverance to a T, coming back in Game 1, and then having <clears throat> opposite happen in Game 2, Belleville showed some push, came back, but they were able to get it done in the end as Brett Murray, who was also able to pick up the assist, of course, in the double deflection on Roostalainen's winning goal the night before. They did it in reverse. Roostalainen then got the assist for Brett Murray's goal in Game 2. Great series by the Rochester Americans. 
as they now move on. This has been the reaction to the Americans versus Belleville Senators series. Peace, everybody. Stay safe. Please can subscribe down below. Up above the Easy Dues widget to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. Thanks, everybody, and stay safe.